almost 11 years now, I've been a T10 para, something hard to take in and really didn't know what to do. You, you just can't realize what you don't have until you lose it. Over the past 95 years, Parker Hannifin has developed a core competence in motion and control. As we challenged ourselves to look out over the horizon and to look for new opportunities, we could clearly see that there was a confluence of technologies and research occurring in a space that we later defined as human motion and control. What drives me, the intent of this project, is to change people's lives. I want the technology to get to a point where people who have paraplegia can't imagine what it was like before exoskeletons. Can we make a device that's small enough, that's light enough, that's intuitive enough, that people will actually want to use it? Our answer to that question is the Indigo exoskeleton. Once we started, I said, they have the right idea, this will work. I'm pretty much the same person from the waist up. It's just, uh, I get around a little differently now. The exoskeleton is essentially a, a wearable robot. It works essentially like a, a legged Segway. Folks that we've had in the device can walk several hours at a time and it's not fatiguing because the device holds a lot of their weight. When we're testing the device at Shepard and people see Michael walking in the device, many of the patients and the family members become very emotional um, and very tearful because they see that hope and that future for them also. If I have it on, if I want to stand up, I stand up. If I want to walk, I walk. If I want to stop, I just stop. I don't have to hit a button to do something. It is an emotional boost to be able to stand up and talk with someone. This type of device, it'll never stop growing. But it has to start somewhere and this is the beginning. As significant a leap forward as this technology is, it really is just the beginning and Parker is proud to be on the leading edge of it.